Well, we're on the long leg of the RMRC Caribbean 600 yacht race, and I'm on what must be one of the two biggest boats in the race, the schooner Eleonora, pushing 140 feet on deck, and don't even ask me how many square metres of sail. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a number that you can't hardly grapple with. We've had a very interesting race here because instead of having the steady northeast trades, a good strong sailor's breeze that everybody dreams of, we haven't had it at all. The wind has been all over the place. We've been fighting the weather the whole time on this trip, and so has everybody else. So it's been a bit of a lottery who is in the right place at the right time. At the moment, we've got a northwest wind, would you believe, uh, and we're on a leg of the course that takes us all the way from Anguilla down to the bottom end of Guadeloupe which is a long, long leg. It's 160 miles, I think, or something like that. And we're rattling that off in very short order. But unfortunately, it's a dead run, which is just what you don't want in a schooner. So we're having to tack downwind to keep all our great acres of canvas up and drawing. Because if you start running, it's a dead loss, really, in a seaway. So, so that's it. Um, yesterday, uh, we had a terrific day. Very, very windy up by, uh, up by St. Martin. And we had to beat round the top corner of the island. It was tough going that, we had water running down the scuppers, uh, everybody working hard and the boat probably making about 10 knots close hauled. And then the glory moment came and we came round the corner and were able to bear away down the channel and ease the sheets and let her go and oh lord did she go, probably 13, 14 knots just ripping along and overtaking all the little race boats, the little 50 footers and 60 footers, leaving them for dead and then taking photos as we went by. What an astounding experience. So when we came round the bottom, um, well it's been this long broad reach really with a couple of jibes in the night and jibing all this lot in the night is uh, well, pretty interesting, but Jason the mate is right on top of the game. We're all so well briefed by the time anything actually happens that we all know what to do. But it doesn't always go smoothly, and uh, yesterday in broad daylight we had to jibe the spinnaker, which is the size of a car park, and not a small car park at that. And all hands have to get together for that. 28 of us on board, and 20 of us must have been wrestling with the kite when it came down. Down it comes, everybody's hammering and bashing away, trying to get it down on the deck before it carries us all away to Kingdom Come. And um, I'm on one side of the sail, somehow young Colin, one of the professional crew, got on the other side, and he's a, a lively lad, and he was giving it heaps. And I got in the way, and uh, he came right through the sail with a right-hand haymaker, straight in the eye. So, as you see, I'm sporting a black eye now, and I can tell you that's not the only bruise I've got either. Sailing these boats is so, so physical. It is a young man's game, and there's some fine young men on here. You just watch them dancing about the deck. I'm flying through the rigging. I mean, yesterday we had a guy, Nipper they call him, I don't know why, because he's as strong as a horse. He was up there swinging about behind the foresail, actually clipped on somehow onto the jib topsail sheet to clear something that had got itself in the way. And he's hanging over nothing, just astounding, brave, athletic, and, and everything else. These are real sailors, you know, schoonermen to the core. So, on we go, down to the bottom end of Guadeloupe, we jibe round there, and then it's bash our way up to the north to Antigua. <laughs> Don't know what state we'll be in when we get there, but we are having one wonderful race.